there's a high school game taking place on Christmas Eve Eve. Matt Gilson is standing by at Granite Hills where he joins us where the SFNL All-Star Game is about to take place. Matt, please take it away. Uh, yes, sir. SDFNL All-Star Game is where we are out at Granite Hills High School. The game is underway. We're in the second quarter. A few big plays. We'll have highlights coming up on the All Sports Report later tonight. Right now, we have a special guest with us, Antonio Bowman from Rancho Buena Vista High School. Now, um, you were playing for the Longhorns earlier this season up until about October 21st um, when uh, an unfortunate accident. Can you walk us through a little bit about what happened and what kind of road you've been on since then? Um, so what happened was I was running the ball and then I cut inside and then what happened was the linebacker tackled me and then slammed me and then his friends, his teammates came. And so when I got up, I had a bloody nose and then I went to the sideline and then um, to clean it off. So I was walking on the sideline and then my body started shaking and then my head was spinning. So I fell to my knees because I couldn't keep my balance. And then um, I started throwing up. And then my coaches were laying me back and then told me to calm down. And then my head was just spinning. And then I was asking, what's going on? What's going on? And then I just blacked out. And then I was in a slight coma until they brought me to the hospital. And then I woke up the next day in the hospital. So an incredibly difficult experience to go through. What, what's the road of recovery been like so far? I mean, you're up here walking around and doing a great job. What's it been like so far? It's been pretty good. Um, I was able to go back home like about five days later. They said my um, I should have been in the hospital longer, like a couple more weeks, but they said the way my body was in shape and how in physical shape I was that I was able to um, speed my recovery up. So I went home, and then um, it was fine. I just I was really off balance, so I had this cane, and then I would sit down and stand up, and I would lose my balance and, like, shake. But they said that was normal, and then my speech was great. I slurred my words sometimes, but they said that was common too. And then, um, but everything's been fine. Yeah. Uh, you're out here as an honorary coach for the Red Squad tonight, and you've been around the team all week. I know you said you have some mixed emotions being back around the game. What's it been like um, being with the team this week and out here tonight? Um, it's pretty cool. You know, just like all the players in the county, I know some of them. I play against some of them. All of them are pretty good. I just wish I was out here playing with them. But it's pretty cool, like, coaching them up and just, you know, just being around them. Yeah, now you've got some sights set on some big things, too. you got a surgery coming up. They're hoping to be back in school this semester um, and some other things. What, what are your goals coming up, the next steps for you? Um, next semester, I plan on getting back in weights, getting my body back the way it was. Um, I want to do track this upcoming spring, hopefully. And... I want to graduate with my class and just, yeah, do the usual. Yeah. It's a pleasure talking to you. Thanks so much for taking a little time out of the game. Really appreciate it. Wish you all the best um, as you continue to recover and hopefully get back out there. So thanks for spending some time with us. Paul, we'll send it back over to you. Yeah, that's a brave young man. I'm sure that's every mom and dad's worst nightmare about letting their kids play football. And, and uh, the way he is dealing with it, the way the whole RBV community is dealing with it is really uh, very impressive, and we uh, give them all a shout-out. Uh, Matt Gilson, I'll see you uh, when you come back with highlights, right? Sounds good, Paul. We'll see you then. All right. Stay warm in that post-hosty space-age sweater there.